And uh, so this is obviously a very confusing and difficult time for everybody at the moment. A lot of things are changing very rapidly because of the virus. Many things like clubs and events that people would do on a regular basis are being cancelled, which can be really difficult. A lot of people across the world at the moment are currently in self-isolation or lockdown. I wanted to make a video on 10 things that you can add to your day whilst you're in self-isolation or a lockdown that will make it just a little bit easier. I think the scary thing is the fear of the unknown, so nobody knows what's going to happen next and when this is going to end, when things will be back on again as normal. So I just think it's important to use our time wisely and I'm just going to give you a few tips and tricks of how you can stay fit and healthy whilst isolated. So this video was suggested by someone on Instagram. Her name is Liv underscore tumbles3. So thank you very much Liv for suggesting this video. I think it's a really important idea. So because she gave me a video idea, I'm gonna follow her back on Instagram and also put her username at the bottom here so you guys can go and check her out. If you guys ever have a video idea you would like me to do, then please DM me on either of my Instagrams. And if I use your video idea, I will follow you back and give you a shout out in the video. If you guys are not already, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I post a video every Friday and my videos are either about gymnastics, fitness or nutrition. So I hope you guys find this video helpful in some way and let's get started. So tip number one is to try and stick to your normal daily routine as much as possible. Obviously with things being cancelled and people having to stay in their homes, this isn't 100% possible but little things like if you normally get up at 8 a.m. get up at 8 a.m. if you normally do a workout in the afternoon then stick to that try and keep things as normal as possible obviously a lot of things are changing so these little things that you can keep the same will definitely help you to stay more calm and more relaxed about things these things will also help you to stay that little bit productive during the week Number two is to try and go out in the fresh air at least once every day. This could be going for a jog, going for a dog walk, doing a workout outside, just going for a general walk. Yesterday morning I went outside and I just lay on my trampoline for ages because I have all the time in the world at the moment but also it just kind of helped me relax I just the sun was shining fresh air is known to make you happier it's also known to help your immune system which is very important at this time it can give you more energy and sharpen your mind so when you come in from having some fresh air you might feel more motivated to get on with maybe some work or a project you're doing <laughs> So number three I think is really important. Number three is to not check the news every five minutes. Now obviously it's really hard not to keep checking the news because obviously we want to keep updated with what's going on but if you're constantly checking it it's just going to stress you out. So maybe it's good to have maybe one update a day but don't keep checking it. It's not going to make you happier. <laughs> Things on social media aren't always true. Obviously some of it is but we don't know and you don't want your head to be constantly filled with worries about what's going on with this virus so just you know switch your phone off for a few hours if you're not looking at things like the news and social media then it'll be slightly easier to try and focus on something else so number four is to try and fit in a daily workout every day this could be like five ten minutes just to feel like you've done some exercise because obviously if we're having to stay in our homes it makes you feel quite lazy and sluggish so make sure you're moving around when we exercise it releases a chemical called endorphins and they make you happier what I'm trying to do is when I'd normally have gymnastics I would do a gymnastics style workout at that time I would have gym if I would normally have kickboxing I do a kind of kickboxing type workout it's not going to be exactly the same as your training sessions but you can do the kind of drills and conditioning stretching that you would normally do. I'm going to show you a few exercises now that you can add into a workout that you can do in a small space.
kind of related to the daily workout thing but if you normally work out with people and obviously at the moment we're not really meant to be within two meters of anyone else not in our family so it's kind of hard to work out with your workout buddies at the moment so this is something me and my mum did the other day so my mum normally does pilates on a tuesday and her group um got together we used this app called hangouts there's also one called zoom which is very similar and it's basically like a facetime where like a big group of people can join and you can see everyone we had the instructor talking to us and then we copied what she was doing so it was kind of like you were there like you could see everyone you could hear them and you had the session as normal but you were just in your own home <laughs> Number six is to write a diary. Now, I've been writing a diary for nearly like three years now, I think. This is my diary at the moment. I love keeping up to date with this, even more so now because I've got all the time to like write in detail. In my diary, I basically write what happens throughout the day. I write like how I'm feeling and things. And at the moment, it can be really helpful to write down your feelings. It just helps to clear your head a bit. Also, many years to come, you can look back at all these memories of this confusing time that you had. Like, I think it's really weird thinking that in future generations people could be learning about this virus in their history lessons and imagine if they had your diary as evidence for stuff that happened. Like, that's pretty cool. So write down in as much detail as you can exactly what's going on. <laughs> Number seven is to spend time with your families. You can use this time to bring your family closer together and do activities together that you would never normally have time to do. And it's also really important to support each other, make sure you're all feeling okay. Some things you can do as a family are like things like board games, playing cards, having a movie night, just sitting and having a long chat, having challenges, maybe doing some gardening. There are so many different things you can do and you all have this time together. Also it's really important to stay in touch with wider family who you're not living with and also friends and you can do this by things like FaceTime. <laughs> is to find an activity that you enjoy that helps you relax. So for me this is probably colouring. Now I never ever get time to do colouring. I absolutely love it and I remember doing it when I was younger. Now I'm older I just have never found time to do any colouring but now I've literally got all the time in the world and I could colour like the whole house. So whilst I'm colouring I like to listen to some music or watch something on Netflix. It's just really relaxing and it helps to clear your head a bit because you're focusing on the colouring. Other things you could do are things like meditation, yoga, reading a book, just simply listening to music, maybe going on a jog will help you relax. This is really important to fit into your day. You might be making like to-do lists and thinking, oh I've got all this time, I need to be super productive, but you don't. You need some time to like shut off from everything and do your own thing. <laughs> So the next one is to try and eat healthily and I know it's not easy just to suddenly eat healthily if you don't normally. Things like fruit and vegetables are going to help you feel happier. When you're eating healthily you feel good about yourself and when you're just at home all day you don't want to be feeling all lazy and sluggish so eating these things can help that. There are also certain foods that you can eat that help to build your immune system. These are things like broccoli, garlic, ginger, spinach, yoghurt, almonds, there's a range of different things and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like me to make a whole separate video on certain meal plans of different foods that can help build your immune system. So the last thing I would suggest to do is to trip to stretch throughout the day so obviously when we're at home we might be sitting a lot people are working from home so they're sitting down I'll suggest like at least once every hour just get up stretch your legs go for a little bit of a walk this bit of movement can be really important it can help you concentrate again and be fully focused and ready to get on with whatever you were doing before so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful in some way for you if you'd like some more details about these tips or if you just need some Someone to talk to then please dm me on my instagram i've got two instagrams my first one is at hannah deep pros and my gymnastics one is at hand.gym i hope you guys have a safe week and just remember if we all work together we can push through this we can get through this time guys we got this come on i will see you next friday bye